वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल डेंटल कैफे इफ़ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल दैन डोंट फोरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब एंड हिट द बेल आइकन फॉर द लेटेस्ट वीडियो सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द फिनिश लाइन इन टूथ प्रिपरेशन ओके देन लेट्स बिगिन द वीडियो सो वॉट इज फिनिश लाइन इन टूथ प्रिपरेशन सो अकॉर्डिंग टू श्वाड्स द बॉर्डर ऑफ प्रिपरेशन वेयर द प्रिपेयर टूथ स्ट्रक्चर मीट द अनप्रिपेयर सर्फेस ऑफ द टूथ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लाइन Prepared to the structure meets the unprepared surface of the tooth. Try to understand with the figure. Look at the figure. We have a unprepared tooth structure, and over which we have a prepared tooth surface which receives prosthesis or a crown. So, with the figure, it is very well clear that the prepared tooth surface meets the unprepared tooth surface, and the prepared tooth surface will receive the crown or a prosthesis. and what is tooth preparation the process of removal of healthy or diseased enamel dentine and cementum to shape a tooth to receive a restoration or a crown it is not necessary that we are going to remove only a decayed part sometimes a healthy tooth or a sound dentine or enamel is also removed look at the figure we have a pulp and a caries involving a pulp so if caries is involving a pulp then we get, we have to perform rct and after performing rct will prepare the tooth surface or perform a tooth preparation and after tooth preparation processes is given uh, to a tooth so that it can bear functional load types of finish lines we have different types of finish line for different type of processes so first one is the solder then we have a solder with bevel sloping solder fourth one is a radial solder then we have chamfer heavy chamfer and the last one is the knife edge or feather edge now first one is the solder finish line it is a type of preparation in which the finish line form a 90 degree angle with the unprepared tooth surface look at the figure we have a prepared tooth surface and a unprepared tooth surface and in between the prepared and the unprepared tooth surface we have a 90 degree angle so solder finish line will form 90 degree angle with the unprepared tooth surface indications of solder finish line solder finish line is basically given in case of full ceramic crowns it means all ceramic crowns preparations have solder finish line and another indication of solder finish line is it is given in case of uh, uh, pfm means we have a inside metal and outside we have a ceramic or a porcelain layer advantages of solder finish line so it have less distortion of crown margin provide adequate bulk for the prosthesis good crown contours and can attain good aesthetic disadvantage of solder finish line is more tooth structure needs to be removed for pfm and marginal adaptation can be affected as there is 90 degree angle so there is a chances of uh, marginal leakage solder finish line with bevel similar to the solder finish line but bevel at the border look at the figure we can very well see there is a bevel at the border border it means angle is not 90 degree as in case of solder finish line there is a bevel at the border indication of the solder finish line with bevel in case of inlay and onlay preparation so gingival finish line on the proximal box of inlay or onlays other indications of solder finish line with bevel are finish line for extremely short walls facial margin of posterior metal ceramic crown with supra gingival margin uh, for metal ceramic crown solder with bevel is only on the facial side advantages of solder finish line with bevel to get a proper marginal adaptation as there is a bevel so there is a more marginal adaptation the bulk of the material in border 
disadvantages more to the structure is removed less conservative approach and preparation should be extended apically radio shoulder finish line similar to shoulder finish line but has a more rounded border to the tooth surface and not at 90 degree angle look at the figure we have a radial shoulder and the borders of the finish line is more rounded as compared to the shoulder with bevel or plain shoulder you can very well see in the figure an angle is not 90 degree so there is also a good marginal adaptation indications of radial shoulder finish line it given in case of full ceramic crowns it means all ceramic crowns preparations have radial shoulder finish line then in pfm crowns porcelain fused to metal and most important stress concentration is lesser than the classic shoulder in radial finish line now sloping so shoulder finish line used in the facial surface of metal ceramic crown having 120 degree angle instead of 90 degree shoulder angle decrease the presence of unsupported dentine on the finish line and sufficient bulk can be provided in metal ceramic crown as the angle is 120 degree instead of 90 degree indication of sloping shoulder finish line is facial surface of any tooth having metal ceramic restorations it means uh, this finish line is given only on the facial surfaces of pfm crowns now chamfer finish line a finish line designed for tooth preparation in which the gingival aspect meet the external axial surface at an obtuse angle according to tilman a concave extra coronal finish line that provides greater angulation than a knife edge and less than that of shoulder so it makes an obtuse angle rather than 90 degree angle made by the shoulder finish line so it provide an angulation greater than the knife edge and less than that of the shoulder finish line so bur used in a shampo finish line is round and taper bur look at the figure you can very well see the shampo finish line which is different from the shoulder finish line in shampo finish line we have a gingival aspect meets the external axial surface at an obtuse angle not at a 90 degree angle as in case of shoulder finish line now the indication of chamfer finish line it is used in case of the case of the metal crown so they are given in cast metal restorations and second in pfm crown only the lingual margin of the metal ceramic restoration on the facial margin we have a shoulder finish line and on the lingual margin we have a chamfer finish line advantages of chamfer finish line conservative tooth preparation good marginal adaptation and provide bulk to the restoration as angle is obtuse disadvantages technique sensitive any defect in fabrication can lead to unsupported tip of the crown now heavy chamfer finish line a heavy chamfer is used to provide a 90 degree cavo surface angle with a large radius rounded internal angle and bevel can be added to the heavy chamfer for use with a metal restoration so how to prepare the chamfer finish line bur used round and taper look at the figure we have a heavy chamfer finish line and we can also add bevel to the heavy chamfer uh with a metal restoration as you can see in the figure and it is different from the chamfer finish line indications of the heavy chamfer finish line we can give in ceramic crowns and in metal crown with bevel advantages of heavy chamfer finish line it is a best finish line for ceramic crown and disadvantages technique sensitive little discrepancy can lead to a formation of lip or unsupported fragile enamel next we have a knife or feather edge finish line as the name suggest it has a knife edge or thin edge as you can see in the figure 
knife or feather edge finish line there is a very thin edge as it is not clinically visible indications of knife or feather edge finish line is given in young patient metal restorations mod only only in accessible areas when finish line extend to the cementum lingual surface of mandibular posterior teeth and pin large three fourth quarter crown advantages of knife edge or feather edge finish line conservative help in preserving tooth structure as there is a edge like preparation ideal for marginal adaptation use in gold and metal crowns disadvantage distant finish line is not visible waxing polishing and casting become critical as finish line is not visible over contouring of restoration to obtain a bulk okay at the end of the video all the finish line are summarized look at the figure we have a first one is knife or feather edge finish line then second we have a chamfer finish line third heavy chamfer then solder finish line then beveled with shoulder and last one is the sloping shoulder i hope this video is helpful for you if you have any problem related to this topic you can ask in comment section thank you for watching